Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. I hope you guys enjoyed the bearish call that I did on gold and silver. Now that the gold and silver bearish call seems to be over, we need to see what else is expected. We have seen quite a bit of good move in gold and silver. With the markets, stock markets around the globe going crazy, uh, we need to look at some very interesting um, options that we have that will include gold and silver and we will also look at Japanese yen and US dollar as well so first of all we have uh, silver here we'll start with silver and go quickly and before we actually look at into smaller time frame we do need to look at the four hourly time frame and this is the forecast that I did on on Friday I mean on on the weekend so we have seen the movement not only we have seen the movement we have seen the jump up a bit we'll get a confirmation of the bullish move when the price actually exits the channel this one thing the other thing is that price can actually uh, which already did price can penetrate through this level and then find a support over here that will give us an indication that we are working upward the main target for silver remains on the top of the pattern which is right over here so I believe that we are going to see a move that will take silver back to its height of 32.50 over here. This is the move we are looking for, which is about 22-23% increase in the priority price of silver. Let's have a look at on a smaller time frame and see if we can actually find some. And I did see uh, some correctional pattern on a smaller time frame, which is doing pretty good. So first of all, we need to draw where our previous low is, which is right over here. We can see that we are seeing a correctional pattern. Uh, price did enter over it and we have seen a correctional pattern right around the previous low. Uh, so this is a pretty good sign that is good a potential of indicating that probably we have seen a low right over here. But we'll keep our stop loss beyond the previous low, which is um, further on the left side, which is this one right over here. Okay, so we'll bring it over here and we'll keep our uh, stop loss in here and then we can go long over here which is seems a bit far but if you look at the trade or I, I will let you, you do your own uh, stock analysis I mean stop no, stop loss analysis where do you want to put it I would rather sh not say it I would say so we are expecting a larger move and expecting that we are going to see this about in about three weeks of time so we we don't have much time left and we are expecting a stronger move uh, on the upside on the um, on in uh, silver let's have a look at gold the gold is doing pretty good on its own okay the chart is not clean just let me go to the the chart that I normally use which is right over here okay we have this chart so we were expecting the move down over here and the sharper move upward uh, i was expecting that it's going to be a bit shallow uh, but let's have a look first of all let's have a look that we were considering the five wave structure from the bottom okay in our previous analysis which is where one and two and three and four and i said the four end, ending over here we are expecting a fifth wave as a flat correction in the larger triangle that actually started from over here hence our actual wave is starting from the fifth wave over here we are expecting it to be a bit more on the shallow side but the price section that we have seen over here does not provide a guarantee so there is a possibility that we can actually see a sharper move we do need to keep a an eye on how the market reacts but we can keep ourselves ready that there could be a possibly a short a shallower move the good thing is that we have a time component available to us we are expecting the fifth wave to be around about three weeks long so i'm expecting that that should uh, carry the prices on the higher direction in the present uh, fundamental analysis that we have the stock markets around the globe are crashing especially in japan states and almost every other country you can say so we are expecting the tensions are going on in middle east as well between uh, iran and israel so in that case we can expect a stronger move uh, in that case we are expecting the gold move towards around 2850 uh, which is about 16 uh, let me bring it 2800 
right hold it so about 21 percent um, increase in the amount or uh, in the price of gold in a matter of three to four weeks i would say is quite a good time so we're expecting this move to be uh, to be done in three to four weeks i would say and we're expecting to keep uh, the the price level on, on the upside so as soon as the price structure goes up and it comes out of this structure that we have we can use our stop loss right over here right at this moment we can use the stop loss of the previous low which is right over here just in case i do not see that the structure is going to go or break further down because of the reversal that we have seen as compared to the previous low so but still as a careful i would put my stop loss over here once the price it moves upward i can bring it upward but quite a good move is expected in gold now i was wondering that maybe what else is all the, with the stock markets around the globe crashing where exactly the funds are going to go and we can actually look at a couple of things then and that brings me to forex let me open the forex section and we have a couple of forex long term i don't want to see that Okay, let's open it. I only want to look at dollar index and we look at Japanese yen. Okay, first of all, well, I want to look at Japanese yen because of very interesting price analysis that we have. And I wanted to point you out uh, with a very important chart that we have. And for that, we can actually bring a yearly chart. Okay, this is our yearly chart, and we can automate the chart okay and not that beautiful let me do a monthly chart instead of a yearly chart is so many okay monthly chart okay now the beautiful thing about it is that we are at the top of the side wave pattern that actually is almost 28 to 30 years old you're right over here I do believe that the move that we have seen is a fake move beyond going beyond um, the previous top and I believe that it's almost like back in uh, 30 31 years so this is a long duration of the side move and now we are seeing the safe haven being back so I'm expecting that we are going to see the price of Japanese gen back towards the lows so Japanese gen is expected to get stronger I believe over the next uh, um, major move that we have in coming months uh, and in 24 2024 and rest of the 2024 and 2025 so this is what i wanted to show you the larger pattern and then we can definitely we're definitely going to look at the smaller pattern as well so let me delete that first of all All right, we're done with that. We can come back to now our daily time frame, and we have very nice analysis. Now, right from the top, we can see that we have a one and two, and we have a correction. So I'm considering that no matter what you like, I'm considering that a one and two, okay? And we can do a four hourly chart, and we can clearly see a corrective pattern um, on, a, on that, that is correcting the whole wave right over here. So we have, um, we have the whole wave down and the correction right over here. And then once again, we have the whole wave down and we have the correction right over here. So this is wave one and two, and this is wave three and four, a simple wave structure that we have. And that's what uh, I'm going to go. We can simply go right over here. So the start of the pattern is from over here. This is wave one and two, and then we have wave three and wave four and wave five. So right now we're looking towards the completion um, guideline of wave four, which is a correctional structure. So I think I did that about 119. We are expecting a sharper move toward the previous low, which is um, back in around 130. So I'm expecting around 120. Mm. I'm expecting a sharp move on the downside. Uh, and as you guys can see, the momentum is already with the move. So we can go back and see on hourly time frame in case we structure becomes clear. The structure is yet not clear. Uh, so what we can do this one. Uh, can you see a flat correction with a elongated C, basically wave A and wave B and a elongated C? Uh, this is, we do not have a zigzag, we have a move up, 
come down and gone up so we can use a 15 minute chart to further um, identify the pattern which is this one right here over here in case I'm wrong with the 5 wave structure there's a possibility that we can actually see one more push up all right but I think that we already have seen the um, the top right over here I'm not going to bet on it but we are very close to the completion of the structure so what we can do is we can simply use this right over here okay so as a structure we are considering it as wave A and wave B and then we have wave 1 and 2 and then we have wave 3 and 4 and then we have wave 5 all right so i'm considering this is an a wave three wave structure as a and this is the wave b and then we have a separate five wave structure as c so i do believe that we are very uh, this is a character pattern once we drop below, uh, below this is not this low but this low because this low it does not is not part of the structure but this low is part of the previous structure so this low is very important which is 143 uh, 45 so this low is very important. Once prices drop below, below this, we'll have a confirmation that we have seen the top right over here. So I'm seeing, expecting a major move in US uh, DJ, Japanese Yen pair, and then we can also look at DXY. So DXY is a bit complicated once you want to look, and I think that we are looking into a larger uh, move. Okay, and I'll. I'll show you why we have just started to uh, do this and I think the structure that you are seeing right over here is the 5 wave structure from the top all right and I'm gonna delete this structure and we can say that we are expecting the W and this hole is why I'm expecting a lag upward okay we do not have seen um, So I'm expecting a move upward on the top channel right over here. And we can see and then how do you, how do we get the confirmation of the move? There are a couple of things. First of all, we do need to move beyond this top, which is 104.75. That will give us a confirmation. It's quite high on the top, so we can look at the structure as well. We can also draw the parallel uh, line which is beyond this point right over here and that is uh, also bring to us uh, a point which is much closer to uh, than we have already done so we can actually look at a hourly time frame and see if we can how the chart looks okay okay this looks much better now so instead of seeing this We have a lower top right over here and then we can exit somewhere over here too so keep an eye on the structure itself uh, but it looks to me that the larger move in expected on the bullish side in US dollar maybe I can draw some of uh, Fibonacci and uh, not Fibonacci equal divisions you are well aware I use equal divisions so we have found okay good we have found one support and we have found second support okay that's good I hope that you guys can see it it's beautiful and it does not get beautiful than this okay so we do have find our uh, support right over here so these are nine divisions of the previous range this is the major range that we have okay so what well, that's what I've done right over here and we can see that this is being respected by this point this point and this point and this point as well this is all being respected by this point and that point right over here too so we have a lot of points actually indicating that the range is being respected uh, by the market as well so we can see that uh, we are expecting we have found a support right over here as soon as price goes one by nine of the previous range which is right now price now is jumping one by nine of the previous range 
is actually going to good indication that we are expecting to see prices on the bullish side all right so once price goes beyond that we can use the previous low to go long please use money management rules wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye